Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I'm going to show you a very interesting property of synthetic division. And that's using synthetic division to actually find the values of a function. So to basically give you an idea of what we're going to do, I have a function here, f of x equals x squared minus 4, and I want to find out the value for a few various inputs, like 3, negative 4, and 2 minus the square root of 2. Now, if you've worked with functions for a little bit, that you probably already know how this works. You'd go ahead and you'd take the input and put it in for x. So here I put in the 3 for x, and so now I have 3 squared, which is equal to 9. And then I could subtract the 2 and get an answer like 5. All right? So that's probably the way you're familiar with doing things. Now, the other way to do it is to actually use synthetic division and look at the remainder term. So for this next one, I'm not going to plug it in. Instead, I'm going to set up synthetic division. All right? So my original function is going to end up in my division bar. So 1x squared, no x's, and a minus 4. And I'm going to put in the minus 4, since that's the value I want to know about. All right? Now let's run through this synthetic division process. So we drop down the first number just as it is. We multiply, add the 0 and the minus 4, multiply, and of course add. Now this remainder term that we get in the end is actually the value of the function. So if you were to plug negative 4 into here, you get 12. And that always happens that way. In fact, you could visually see what happens if you plug in a negative 4 uh, and you square it. You get a positive 16, and 16 minus 4, sure enough, is 12. Now, this is especially handy for a more complicated input. All right, let's give this a try. So let's set up our division bar. I, I need a little bit of extra space for this one. So I got 1, 0, and a minus 4. And we're going to be testing out 2 minus the square root of 2. All right, so it starts off okay. I bring my 1 down just as it is. I multiply. There we go. Then I add these two together. And now I have to multiply 2 minus the square root of 2 by 2 minus the square root of 2. It might be a good idea to go off on some scratch paper and actually see what these two being multiplied together look like. 2 minus the square root of 2, 2 minus the square root of 2. Take our first terms, 4. Outside and inside terms, so there's a minus 2 square root of 2, minus 2 square root of 2. And our last terms, negative times a negative, a positive square root of 2 squared. Let's see, combine these two guys. I have a plus 2 on the end. So it looks like this combines to basically 6 minus 4 square root of 2. So 6 minus 4 square root of 2. Whew, boy, that was a lot of work. All right, let's get on to the last column here. We're going to take it and add it with a negative 4. And so this will give us a 2 minus 4 square root of 2. There we go. And of course, that is the value of, you know, plugging in 2 minus the square root of 2 just like that. So you can see the synthetic division actually has a few other purposes other than just dividing polynomials. It can also give you the value of a function at certain inputs. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.